Hello. In this lesson, we're going to look at the official writing paper that you will use to write your writing task one report and your writing task two essay in the IELTS test. This is the official IELTS paper here. And I will explain to you in this lesson why you need to practice writing with this paper and how you need to fill it in when you have your test. So let's have a look at why it's important to practice writing using the official writing paper. The main reason to practice writing using this writing paper is mainly because of the word count. Now, in the test for writing task one, you need to write 150 words or above. You shouldn't write under 150 words. Now, the examiner is going to check how many words you've written. And in the test, you don't have time to sit and count how many words you have written. But what you can do is you can download this paper. I will give you a link at the end of the lesson. You can download the official writing paper and you can practice writing on this paper. And when you practice writing, you will see how big the paper is and more or less how many words you will write for your writing on each line. You can also start checking how many lines and how much space you usually take to write 150 words. And that will save you a lot of time and a lot of worry when you're in the exam. And of course, another reason that you need to practice with this paper and practice your handwriting. A lot of students are typing on a computer rather than handwriting. But in the test, you need to use a pen and paper. So what you need to do is practice. Make sure that you do not go over the lines. Keep your handwriting clear and easy to read. If the examiner cannot read what you write, you can't get a very good band score. And of course, just avoid any surprises. Now, let's have a look at how to fill in this writing paper. At the top of the answer sheet, you've got some information that you need to fill in at the start of your test. And the information is your candidate name, your candidate number, the centre number. Now, this information you will be given when you go to your IELTS test centre. You also have to fill in the date, so don't forget that. But a very important part is this. And this is just above the beginning of the writing paper. We've got two boxes. And we've got academic or general. And that means which IELTS test are you taking? There are two IELTS tests for writing. There's the academic writing paper and the general writing paper. And you need to tick and choose which one you're doing. So, for example, the academic. After that, you've got the writing, the lines. Down here, we have an area where the examiner can write some comments down there and information. Over the back, we've got more lines. And at the bottom here, this is where the examiner is going to write in your band score. The examiner has four criteria. Now, we've got task one, task two. These are the four criteria. We've got task achievement or task response, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, and grammar. This is your information and your ideas, your answer. This is your structure and your organization, your vocabulary and your grammar. And the examiner will write a band score for each one. And after that, you will get a complete band score for your whole writing test. 
And at the side here, there is some more information that the examiner is going to write down. And you can see this is the information that the examiner is going to check. The first one is under length, so that means the number of words. The examiner will check how many words you've got if you are under the word count. So you've written less than 150 for task 1 or less than 250 for task 2. And also he will make a note if you are going to have a penalty, a punishment for having too few words. Also, the examiner will check if your writing is off topic and that means it is irrelevant and not following the topic. Also, if you have any memorised answers in your writing, any memorised language. Now, I know there are some teachers that tell you to memorise a piece of writing, for example, a paragraph. Don't do it. The examiner will check to see if there is something memorised in your writing. And of course, the examiner will also check if your handwriting can be read. If your handwriting isn't clear, that's a problem and maybe a reason for a very low band score. So I think it's really worth you downloading this writing paper and practicing and just having a look at the information that's on there. So here is a link so that you can download this answer sheet. And if you would like any more IELTS lessons, then please just follow this link here and you will be able to get some more writing task one and writing task two lessons. Well, that's all for this lesson. I'll see you in another IELTS lesson.